You see this? You tyrant piece of sh You tyrant. What are your badge numbers? Step back, okay? No, Don't walk up no, you like stole that. my property. I am engaged in a First Amendment yeah, yeah. activity that Sir, is protected by... The sign you are not, listen, you are not you taking sign, my property. Listen to me. You Before we go any farther, you're pulling me over for what? Because you, your, because you had your finger this out. Disorderly conduct now, what? Now, here's what's about to happen. You're about to be arrested again for resisting arrest. I told you why I stopped you already, sir. For putting my middle finger up. That's yeah, correct? No, correct. No. Exactly. I see. Now, we're going to have problems with that guy. Oh, yeah. But after a while, he's going to do something stupid. Mm -hmm. He's going to do something stupid. He got to get in the car. And then, you know what I mean? Dog in the car. Uh, he's locked him up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put his dog, dog in the impound. Mm -hmm. You know, but he, he'll do something stupid. No, nope, these aren't North Korean cops or Chinese communist cops. These are American cops on American soil plotting against an innocent fellow American to take his property, his freedom, his dog, and even his child. Makes me wonder if even donut operator wouldn't disapprove of this thin blue line steaming pile of tyrannical nonsense. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. Stay tuned because you really got to see this one. Here's the deal. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Well, here's the deal. But here's the deal. So here's the deal. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. The Delaware State Stormtroopers. I mean, Gestapo. I mean, the Delaware State Police. Now, we're going to take a look at their Facebook in a minute with the public phone number 302-739-5901. So stick around for that. A fellow American in Delaware was ticketed recently. You know, ticketed. The American policing form of economic terrorism? It's kind of like the mafia coming to your door with a baseball bat. Baseball. <laughs> letting you know they own these streets. And if you step out of line, there's more than your kneecaps that are in jeopardy. Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. So why was our American brother ticketed? Simply because he hurt these costume tyrants' feelings by displaying the one-finger salute. After he flipped off local police, camera footage shows that the cops knew the punishment was unlawful, but they decided to punish him anyway. In March 2022, Jonathan Gasford, a 54-year-old resident of Smyrna, Delaware, was confronted by police as he stood on the side of a road holding a sign that read, Radar Ahead. He was warning drivers about a police speed trap. Now, I don't know about you, but this is good old American heroism at work. But see, cowards like this don't like heroism. They don't like freedom, and they definitely don't like a guy with a camera recording their tyrannical actions. And when you got a guy on the side of the highway exposing their road piracy, well, they got a problem with you trying to dip into their slush fund. What? Are you detaining me? What are you detaining me for? What? What are you You're detaining disrupting me? traffic, I'm sir. not disrupting yes, anything. Sure. I am engaged. In a First sure, Amendment, in I am not. You're a liar. It's unsafe. You are a liar. I have never been in traffic, never. So you can shut that up. I'm on the side of the road, legally parked, with a sign which is protected by the First Amendment. You're so you can. Traffic. I'm disrupting if you nothing. Go else, you just I'm gonna do it right here no, where I'm not, at. No, so I'm not. I have drivers coming up to me telling me that you're jumping out in traffic because apparently they're erroneous. I don't give a. What somebody else says, what did you witness? Nothing of the sort. So keep your yourself, pal. According to camera footage, two Delaware state police officers, Stephen Douglas and Nicholas Gallo, seized Gesford's sign and ripped it up in front of him. 
And we all know that while cops lie, cameras don't. Put your hands up. You see what this did? You see what he did? Don't some. put your hands on me. Do not put, give me my property back. You piece of give me my property back. You see this? You tyrant piece of you tyrant. What are your badge numbers? Step back, okay? No, Don't walk up no, you right stole there. my property. Did you see anything in my hands? You stole your piece property. Of have a nice day. As Gasford drove away, he flipped off the pair of Barnum and Bailey circus clowns who pursued him using tax cattle equipment and resources. The offended officers jeopardized public safety by reaching speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. After stopping Gasford, they were joined by a third officer, Alfonso Jones. Footage shows the officers planning how they're going to justify punishing Gasford. The reason I stopped you is you had your, your hand out the window with the so what? finger. So what? It's constitutionally protected speech. Is there a reason why you're doing that? <laughs> is there a reason why you're doing that? You're stopping me for constitutionally protected speech, right? Because you had your finger, your hand out the, the window. This is what I did. You got a problem sorry, with that? Sorry, that? Listen to me. Listen to me. No, no, no. All right, listen. Go That's away. That is disorderly conduct. No, it is not. That is disorderly That conduct. is called freedom of public. speech. If you are no, out in no, the public, no, 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 you are no, out no, in the public no, no, and people no. see you. No, it is not. Here's, license, here's, here's what's going to happen. No. License, please. No. Here's what's going to happen. I want your supervisor, please. I am the supervisor. License, please. So before we go any farther, you're pulling me over for what? Because you, disorderly had your, conduct. because you had your finger this out. Disorderly conduct, now, what? Here's what's about to happen. You're about to be arrested again for resisting arrest. No, I'm not resisting yes, anything. Well, yeah, yeah. Right, no. now you're, right now you're, you're being detained. Okay? For what? You're being detained. I told you for, why I stopped you already, sir. For putting my middle finger up. That's yeah, correct? No, for, correct. No, exactly. For, right. You extended correct. your arm out the window. No, no I have my yes, middle yeah. finger out the window. Okay. Okay. We're going to take you in. We're going to tow the car. And we'll call, call per, uh, social services for the kid. Oh, so now you're, threatening, now you're threatening I'm, my child. No, he's not no, he's telling right. It's a happen. promise. So not only are these cops threatening the freedom of a man, they're also threatening to take the man's child from his care and place that child in the custody of government morons and psychopaths. It's really hard to imagine a more dastardly action on any human being. They further state that they'll take his kid, throw his dog in the pound, take his car, and lock him up. I think now we're going to have problems with that guy. Now we're going to watch as camera footage records these Delaware officers using Gestapo tactics trying to fabricate charges on this innocent man. Remember, whose only crime is warning fellow Americans of an upcoming road piracy operation. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, hey, what's what's up? What's up? He's, stuck, he's stuck his finger, middle finger out of the, out of the, road, out of the, um, the window. Oh, okay. What's that? What's, what's that? We, we could lock him up with this conduct. He probably won't go anywhere. Nah, what's, what's, isn't it like an like a improper hand signal or something? Charge? No, I mean, like, if you if you stick your freak, I'm telling you, if you put your arm out the road, your hand out the road, and you, you like, with a middle finger, you could, that's like a, isn't that? I'm, t I'm pretty sure. You sure about that? We can lock him up for disorderly conduct, says one protector and servant to another. It might not go anywhere, but we can definitely lock him up for disorderly conduct. Eventually, Gasford was cited for breaking a law regulating hand signals for bicycles and other non-motorized vehicles. However, body camera footage from after the incident shows that every cop knew the citation was unlawful. In a phone call with another officer, Christopher Pop, one of the cops explains that they cited Gasford for improper hand signals. And uh, gave the finger uh, as he was driving away. Um, <laughs> Dougie pulled him over and then brought him for uh, hand gestures. 
so wrote him a, a, a citation for hand gestures. So, so I, I, I lost you for a second. He pulled him over and wrote him for what? A hand gesture, like the uh, the hand gesture. I said, ah, that's, that's that's pushing it. Um, like you. Uh, uh, yeah, you can't. I mean, he pulled him over for us, like giving him the middle finger. Yeah, giving, giving him a, yeah, for giving him the middle finger. So, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. That'll get dropped. Yeah, it's going to get thrown. I told him that's going to get thrown out. But it, it's just going, you know, it's going to cause the problem. It's going to cause the problem. Basically, yeah, we know what we're doing is not right. In fact, it's highly immoral. But at least we can cause a problem, even if it does get thrown out. I tried to give I was going to give him back the sign, but the guy already ripped the sign up. So, because I went and talked to him, and obviously he didn't want to hear anything I had to say by that time, you know. Yeah, we need to we need to look at something more that applies, like maybe something stupid, like you know, park in the roadway. Right, right, right. You know, something like that that applies. Fortunately, I mean, yeah, you can't. We we can't pull people over. We can't write a ticket for telling us to fuck off or right. giving us a middle finger and stuff like that. And, yeah, you know that's that's the right to do so. According to testimony from another recording that I wasn't able to find, Officer Pop says, quote, we need to look at something more that applies, like maybe something stupid, like parked in the roadway, something like that will fly. Unfortunately, I mean, we can't pull people over. We can't write them tickets for telling us to F off or giving us the middle finger, stuff like that. You know, that is their right to do so. While the citation against Gesford was later dropped, he did file a lawsuit in February alleging that police violated his rights. The lawsuit reads in part, quote, the officer's motive for the traffic stop and issuance of a traffic ticket was to punish plaintiff Gesford for exercising rights secured under the Constitution. The adverse actions taken against Gasford, stopping his motor vehicle without reasonable suspicion or probable cause, would substantially interfere with the exercise of First Amendment freedoms. End quote. Since the incident, one unnamed officer has been disciplined, according to the Delaware State Gestapo. So there's no doubt that that disciplinary action included a paid vacation. This is the Delaware State Police Facebook page with the public number prominently displayed. I'll leave the link in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to gently let them know how you feel. And by the way, help me fight the censorship algorithms by liking and sharing this video and leaving a comment. If you got something out of this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. There are a lot of videos in my most popular playlist that you probably haven't even seen yet, and all of them are still relevant. Like and share those as well. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt or a hat from the store or become a channel member. Remember, the price of freedom is now and will always be eternal vigilance. And indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. I'll see you in the next video.